This video will introduce some basic concepts about green space, its benefits, and how the City of Independence can utilize green space more effectively within its city limits. Green space is an area of green, i.e. grass, trees, or other vegetation set apart for recreational or aesthetic purposes in an otherwise urban environment. Several studies prove that green spaces increase the overall vitality, health, and well-being of the city and the residents that live within it. The first and perhaps the easiest manner of implementing green space within independence are green walls. The city was littered with numerous derelict walls that were not aesthetically pleasing, but provided a fantastic opportunity for green walls. Green walls can transform these walls into visually pleasing and environmentally friendly spaces. It would be very easy to incorporate edible plants and native plants into the green walls, bolstering the biodiversity and food security of the city. Another simple method to incorporate more green space into the city is the establishment of microparks. I don't have any pictures, but there were several abandoned lots and vacant spaces along Main and C Street. While in the long term, it may make sense to develop business in these locations, it would be simple to plant native plants, put park benches, and perhaps playground equipment in these spaces, temporarily, increasing the recreational capacity of the city, as well as utilizing vacant space to promote exercise, aesthetic values, and biodiversity. There are two distinctly more difficult methods to incorporate green space and independence. The first would be an establishment of a green belt. While slightly outdated, a green belt would benefit independence in a variety of ways. First, the establishment of a green belt would connect and the existing parks and bike paths of the city, facilitating multimodality and bikeability. Secondly, the green belt would help create a sense of place, physically isolating the city of independence from Monmouth, a much more effective method than a sign. The second challenging but necessary method of incorporating green space in the city is to preserve and establish a riparian zone in the construction area near City Hall. Currently, there is no buffer between crushed gravel and the river. Establishing a riparian zone would connect these city parks, prevent erosion that is sure to infringe upon potential development, decrease sediment and pollutants entering the Willamette River, and promote aquatic ecosystems and protect future developments in this zone from floodwaters. If independence does not establish this riparian buffer, the future developments in this area will be threatened by flooding and erosion. To conclude, independence must establish green belts with native plants, edible landscaping to promote food security, aesthetics, and biodiversity. They must establish micro parks and abandoned lots to increase recreational opportunities, establish a green belt to promote a sense of place, and develop and protect their critical riparian zones. Through the implementation of green space, independence can increase the health, vitality, value, and ecological well-being of their community.